Welcome to Science Olympiad at Home. Hi, my name is Sherry Haug and I'm the Elementary Director for Science Olympiad. Today, we're going to do an event called Straw Tower. Now, in actuality, we're going to move, pull a little bit of different events in in order to create what we're going to do as Straw Tower today. Now, Straw Tower is done everywhere from the elementary level through the B and C level of Science Olympiad, which is middle school and high school. Because we're still on a mandatory quarantine with a stay-at-home order, I don't have the straws that we're supposed to use. So today we're adapting the event with materials that I have at home and that you may have at home. This event is going to be on our website, but the Straw Tower event calls for 50 straws. Well, when I looked around my house, I had four straws that were from takeout orders. That won't work. So we started with making an object out of bendy straws. As you can see, that didn't work. Then we moved to pasta with masking tape. Still wasn't very strong, and I, we, been, we broke a lot of pasta to get to here. So then I tried pasta with marshmallows. That was even worse. Then I broke my pasta in half and put marshmallows on it, and that seemed to be pretty strong. I also did the same thing with toothpicks, and that seemed to work really well. The first thing you're going to need are structural materials. You could use marshmallows and pasta, you could use marshmallows and toothpicks, or you could use straws and masking tape. But with any of those, you're going to need a tape measure so you can measure the height of your tower. It can be in metric or standard units. And lastly, you're going to need a tennis ball. You're going to need something to show how strong your tower is. If you don't have a, have a tennis ball, you'll notice in our last episode, we have a new puppy in our house. So we have all kinds of little puppy toys laying around, and that could be used as well. I've decided that I'm going to use pasta for my competition. Whatever you decide to use for your materials, Everyone in your group that you're competing against needs to use the exact same materials. In my competition, we're going to use 25 pieces of pasta. If someone breaks a piece of pasta, they don't get to replace that piece of pasta. That's all they get. The marshmallows, we're going to say, are unlimited at this point because they do get squishy when they get warm. So I'm not going to show you how to build a, a, straw a pasta straw tower today, but I am going to encourage you to go online and look at buildings online. I'm going to encourage you to look at the shapes that are used by architects when they are designing buildings, and I think you're going to see what would be considered strong and what is not strong. So for instance, if you look at buildings online, you're not going to see a lot of circles in those buildings because materials don't come naturally in round shapes, but you are going to see a lot of other shapes and try to mimic some of those shapes. Now if you look at my square, you can see my square isn't real strong as a true square. What can I do to this square so that it doesn't rack the way that it does? So again, I'm not gonna build you a tower, but I am gonna give you a couple of clues. One is, you cannot tape your device to the table or to the floor. You cannot attach it to anything. It has to be freestanding. The second thing is, you're trying to build the tallest, strongest tower of anyone you're competing against. So it needs to be tall, but it has to be strong in that it will hold an object. You decide what that object is going to be. In this case, we're going to use a tennis ball. But it needs to be able to hold that tennis ball for three seconds before the entire thing falls over. But it has to have a receiver at the top. And when you measure your straw tower, you're going to actually measure from the ground to wherever that tennis ball is in the tower. So even though my pasta goes beyond my tennis ball, I'm going to measure only to the top of that tennis ball. Okay, now it's time to build. So here's my daughter Riley. This is her first attempt, and you can see that the ball would have stayed in that tower for a long, long time. Three. Dang! Are you going to keep going? Nope. But she did, and as you can see, the tower was no longer strong enough to hold a tennis ball. 
Now here's my husband, Brian. His tower is not very strong at all. So he has what he's calling the flying buttresses, and you can see that he was successful and it held for over three seconds. And when we measured, he was at 12 inches. You got exactly 12 uh -huh. inches. Have fun with Straw Tower. Just remember that you're going to have to make changes to your build, and you may even pick materials that aren't pasta and marshmallows. The idea is to practice building strong and tall towers. Have fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. Throw it in my mouth. Throw it in my mouth. Come at you. <laughs> you close your eyes. I thought I was going to throw a lot faster. <laughs> but I did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, off the top. Science Olympiad at home. Be sure to check out our website at www.soinc.org slash elementary. See you next time!